Patient reported outcomes really means getting from the patient a sense of what their functional uh, abilities are and what their psychological function is. And this is very, very important because medicine in general has been relying upon the physician's assessment of how patients are doing. When we use patient reported outcomes, we're actually relying on how the patient states that they're doing. We do this using validated health survey questionnaires that patients fill out either from home over the internet or in our waiting room prior to being seen in the spine center. And this is a series of questions done on a computer tablet that then is analyzed and reviewed that allows us to get a sense of how the patient is functioning and how they're impacted by their spinal diagnosis. This allows us to assess how the patient is when they walk in the door on their first visit. It allows us to follow them longitudinally over time so we can get a sense of whether things are improving or not improving. And it can give us a sense of whether there are other issues ongoing with the patient that we need to pay attention to and be aware of and maybe get the primary care physician or other health care providers involved in the care of that patient. Function is described by multiple definitions, and it really means, does pain interfere with your life? Can you walk? Can you sit? Can you do the things that you want to do? Are your symptoms from a spinal diagnosis preventing you from doing the routine things you want to do day to day, or the extracurricular or work activities that you would like to do? It's really, really important to have this information because with it, we can share it with patients. Uh, we can inquire as to whether there are other medical conditions that might be influencing their survey results in terms of their uh, physical function or their psychological function. And we can use it to incorporate shared decision-making as well so we understand the patient's preferences for care, their values, and how they want to be treated. Then in a combination of the data that they provide as well as the data that we learn from the medical literature and the research that we've done ourselves, we can help guide and counsel patients to their treatment options so that they can be better informed about their choices and about specific choices that they, might, that they may want to make. We share that data on the internet. It's done blindly, of course, and we do it at the population level. So we're looking at large populations of patients who have used patient-reported outcomes systems like ours, and we compare different treatment options. So the most common ones for us are comparing patients who have a spinal diagnosis treated either with surgery or without surgery. And we can look at the trends over time to see actually where the improvements are. We also use this data for patients who are in our functional restoration program, patients who don't have other treatment options but have functional goals, and they'll go through a comprehensive two-and-a-half-week rehabilitation program. And our data helps us and the patient understand where they begin and where the progress is and where we can work on uh, gaining more progress in their function with them. And they can actually see how much they've improved over time just looking at the information. The value of this information to patients is very broad. Uh, first of all, most of the time that you see a medical provider, uh, they are being seen through their eyes, not your eyes. This allows us to really get a glimpse of how certain conditions are influencing your ability to function. We're hearing it right from the patient. And we do it at point of care when we see you every time you come into the spine center. And not only do we have a sense of how your disease or your spine problem is influencing you, we have an ability to um, compare your problem uh, with that of others like you, as well as people who don't have a spinal diagnosis or a spinal symptom. And therefore, we really do get a much better sense of the burden that the spine diagnosis is causing for you.